Hi and welcome to the Square Balloonatic Action and Tutorial Set. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Action Clipped and Blown Fix. Um, so you can see that I'm working here in Photoshop CS6 but this action runs the same in Elements or any other earlier versions of Photoshop. So um, I'm going to go into the action here and I'm going to run it. And let me just turn off all the layers for a second in the layers panel. But what this layer, what this action does is, first of all, it shows you what areas of your image are either clipped or blown, which means areas that are either too dark or too light to print properly. Um, any blown areas will be just shown as pure white in a print, and clipped areas will just show as pure black. So this will first show you those um, areas in your image that are hitting those danger zones for um, dark or light. And then there's another layer called Fix. Now Fix is in inverted commas, it's not a true fix, it's really just a patch. To get a true fix, um, to really fix your exposure properly, you need to go back to the raw um, version and um, expose it properly in either Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom or something like that. Um, sometimes editing can clip or blow just tiny small areas and that's what this action is intended for. Um, not really for bigger areas. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on um, at the side in the layers panel here we can see our three layers just turn on the fix for a moment. Now that won't change anything for the moment because the mask on that layer is black that means everything is hidden until we reveal it with white. And we have another two layers one is blown areas and one is clipped areas. So we can um, click on this little icon here at the side, the little eye icon at the side of the layer and that shows that you, by clicking that on and off it hides or makes visible that layer. So we're going to turn it on now. In Elements it just is an eye but it just has a line through it if it's invisible. So we're going to turn it on and now we can see that this is showing our blown areas. So we have a little blown area in the sky here. So I'm going to click on my fix layer click on the mask of that layer. Then I'm going to click my paintbrush with white, making sure that I have white selected. My no mode is normal, my opacity is 100%. I just make it big and fluffy and I'm going to I'm just going to paint directly on the layer. Now I'm going to turn that blown area off. So you can hardly see the difference on the fix. It's just um, it just makes it slightly grayer. And that's what it does for the clipped areas too. It just makes it slightly grayer, just brings it back into the safe tones that you can use for printing. Then I'm going to click on the visibility of the clipped areas. And you can see that the, the areas that are too dark in this image are his the bottom of his trousers and the bottom of hers as well. So again, making sure that I'm on the mask, and um, the mask is selected on my fix layer, making sure that I have a white paintbrush set to normal mode and 100% opacity and then I'm just going to paint over that. So now when I have my clipped area on it's only white, my blown area is only black and now you can see by clicking on the fix layer on and off you can see what effect it has and hopefully it won't be too much you'll be able to keep your image as close to the way it was but now there, the areas in your image that were too dark or too light are in the safe in the safe tonal range. <laughs> 